Okay, so we're going to look at the structure of the kidney today. Uh, as you know, from, even from junior cert, uh, when you study the urinary system, you have two kidneys. Um, they're located just below the diaphragm in the small of the back. Um, and what we're going to look at now is just the, a longitudinal section. So if you remember what we're talking about when we're talking about a longitudinal section, we're talking about a lengthways slice through lengthways um, look at the inside of the structure of the kidney now what I've just drawn there is uh, we'll just label that we'll as the what's called the renal capsule so that's the the renal capsule there that's just an outer layer inside which you've got this one of the two major sort of regions of the inside of the the kidney. The first inside layer is called the cortex. So this here is the what we call the renal cortex. So I'll just put an arrow down there. I'll just change that. This is the renal cortex here. Okay, so anytime you see the word renal, you know that you're talking about the kidney. So we've got the renal cortex right there. Now as well as the now the renal cortex is going to be, it's the site of the two main, one of the two main jobs of the kidneys, which is filtration. So the first job of the kidney, the first process that happens in the kidney, I suppose you might say, in our story, will be uh, filtration. And that's what's, that, what happen, that filtration process happens in this, in this renal cortex here. Okay, so inside the renal cortex, or just further into, inside the kidney, you get what's called, the area that's called the medulla. Now the medulla consists of, I'm going to try and draw it here with, uh, try and draw a different colour, so the medulla consists of uh, a lot of what are called pyramids. So I'll draw them in like this, it would look like pyramids just at the moment, but you can see what, what we're talking about here is a structure that is going to form then a sort of funnel or, or, or end up in a sort of funnel which, which is known as the pelvis of the kidney. So we've got this, I'll just label here back to our green, we've got this area here is known as the medulla, or the renal medulla or the, just the medulla, the medullas of the, medulla of the kidney. And these round shapes here are what we call the pyramids of the medulla. So these are these areas here are called called the pyramids. So we'll just put that in there. They're the pyramids. We'll put them in inverted commas. So they're the pyramids of the medulla. The medulla is this whole region then inside the uh, inside the renal cortex. So the <coughs> um, cortex, or sorry, the medulla, the purpose of the medulla we'll see later on, whereas in the renal cortex you, you have a, lo a lot of filtration happening. Um, what you also have in the, in the medulla is you have uh, reabsorption. So you have, uh, while there's some reabsorption happening in the, in the renal cortex, you see uh, uh, the medulla will come in and we'll see that later on. The medulla is very important in controlling uh, the amount of water that's reabsorbed back into the blood um, from the from the the, the, the filtrate, and also from and also it's it's very important in controlling the, the ion content or the salt content of the of the filtrate, which in turn of course controls the pH of it. Now, just at the if you like, when the urine is formed, um, the urine is going to be formed as it uh, 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 as it gets processed by the kidney, then it'll flow from the pyramids of the medulla, these pyramids here, it'll flow from the pyramids into what's called this central funnel area here, which is called the pelvis. So each kidney has this funnel-shaped area called the pelvis, and the pelvis drains into the ureter. So the, the funnel-shaped area is called the pelvis, and then the uh, the ureters, as you know, each each kidney has a, has a 
pipe or tube coming out of it known as the ureter, which carries the, the, the urine into the bladder. And of course, one thing we haven't mentioned yet is the fact that the blood flow into the kidney, and we'll just draw it here, blood flow comes in in an artery, and of course, since we're talking about the kidney, it's, a, it's the renal artery, so we'll label this. This is the, the renal artery. And that's going to bring oxygenated blood, um, but also blood that contains, as well as containing oxygen, it's going to contain urea, and it's going to contain uh, salt, salts and water, which to some extent are going to be taken out of the blood. So the urea is going to be completely removed by the, uh, filtered out by the kidney, uh, from the blood of the renal artery. And uh, some of the water and some of the salts are going to also be uh, removed from the blood. So the blood that enters the renal artery, uh, enters the kidney via the renal artery, is going to be quite different then from the blood that then exits the renal artery. And the blood that exits the renal artery is going to be exiting in this uh, this vein here, and of course we're going to call that. This is going to be the renal vein. Okay, so. Just another last little label here. That one there is the renal. Just we'll write that a little bit better. It's the renal vein. Now, just one last thing we want to show in this is the position of what the the the, the topic of the next video is going to be, and it's the the functional unit or the subunit if you like of the of, of the of the kidney which is called the nephron and each nephron has millions of these little subunits they're very tiny little structures called nephrons and i just want to show you where abouts in the kidney these nephrons are located um, so if we if we start off uh, i'll just draw it in this yellow color here and each nephron starts, if you like, with a little structure. I'll try and do better than that. A little structure called the Bowman's capsule. And each Bowman's capsule, and this is far larger than they are in reality, each Bowman's capsule then is linked uh, to a structure. And you can see from this structure that. Um, it's got a lot of windy, twisty uh, tubes to it, um, and this is this is what the, the the nephron looks like. Now, this is not drawn to scale at all, uh, but you can see that there's a very long tail bit, um, a loop, that goes from the cortex down into the medulla, and that loop will uh, will explain. It's very important, and it is particularly important in the in the controlling of the water levels, the water and salt levels, if you like, uh, in the in the formation of urine. So we'll look at that. That's the next video is going to be the, the structure of the nephron uh, and its function.